Hello, everybody on YouTube and all the NFL YouTube prognosticators and NFL fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my thoughts on the conference championship games and my pick for Super Bowl 54. Check it out. Before I get to my thoughts, I want to say my congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers for reaching Super Bowl 54. Hey, got to give credit with it's due, man. But I did get one thing right. Before my picks during the in my early NFL predictions um, show, I said the Chiefs were going to make it to the Super Bowl, and I was right about that one. So I, I gave myself credibility for that. So anyways, but I did not expect San Francisco to get it in, so who would have thunk that? I didn't even expect that. I thought there were going to be another downturn and things like that for the 49ers. But hey, Kyle Shanahan turned that team around, and Nick Bosa helped them out too. Defensive Rookie of the Year, by the way, maybe. So hey, I'm really happy for... um. For San Francisco getting in, especially Jimmy Garoppolo, who was a former Patriot. Now he's a, a starting quarterback to go to the Super Bowl. Probably one of the best uh, teams out of the best quarterback that Brady mentored. He turned out really well. So, hey, what can you say? But, you know, but I stupid me and early in the year, my my early NFL pick show before the season started, I said the Saints were going to get in. That didn't work out that way. Instead, they got... The Saints got another screw over by the Minnesota Vikings, and look, look where we are right now. But hey, but no, other than that, congratulations to the Chiefs and the 49ers that reached the Super Bowl, and let's get to my thoughts. All right, my thoughts about the conference championship game, it brings me down to this, you know. No lead is safe when it comes to the Kansas City Chiefs. No lead is safe. Don't get me wrong, give credit to the Titans what credit is due. This is the first time since, like, 2002 that the Titans didn't make made it to the championship game. And also, known fact, this was the first uh, AFC championship game since 2002 to not feature Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, or Ben Loffersberger, which is really interesting. I didn't even really notice that until, like, oh, yeah, I didn't notice that. Not how long it's been. But anyways, yeah, for for a second week in the for two weeks in a row, the Chiefs came back in with a deficit with a deficit to uh, to to win, which really worked out. Ah, but thanks to um, uh, Bob Sorton for the defensive coordinator for the um, Kansas City Chiefs, he's finally stepping up to the plate when it matters the most. So that's what it helps out with the um, with the with the Chiefs. Other than that, Patrick Mahomes is throwing like bomb after bomb after bomb with Tyree Kill, you know Travis Kelsey. Um, oh my God! I, I oh my God! Jeez. <laughs> But, you know, you got and Sammy Watkins. I mean, I forgot to mention him. But, you know, I mean, that's a really high-power offense right there. And, of course, the defense is stepping up. So that's – but, anyways, when T Kansas City, when the, T the Tennessee Titans – oh, my God. But don't get me – they re they had Ryan Tannehill. He went back to being the Ryan Tannehill when he was at the Miami Dolphins. And yeah, I don't know what to say about that, you know. I have no idea. I'm not going to – and Henry, he, they stopped Henry, and, and everyone thought he was going to be really unstoppable. It just didn't work out that way. Like I said, you can't trust the running game, which I'll get to the 49ers about that in a minute. So, anyways, so about that, you know, the the Kansas City Chiefs, they did what they needed to do to come back strong in, in what they needed to do. And that, that that's all they did. I mean, they were down by 10 in the first quarter, then I think it was 17 in the second half, in the second quarter. All of a sudden, they inverted on to 21 to 17 at halftime, and all of a sudden, bombs away. The Chiefs um were going, were going on to win it. So, out from there, it just goes to show you that this year, no matter what lead you have, it's your lead is not safe under Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs right now. No lead is safe. All right, get to the um, NFC Championship game with the Packers and the 49ers. Well, well, Travis Coleman uh, and yeah. Was was lost during an injury for most of the game, but Rasheem yeah, Mozart ran all, all over the Packers on that one. You could just see right away in the second quarter it was like twenty to seven. You kind of knew it was kind of over right then and there. You kind of knew that Aaron Rodgers didn't have any answers whatsoever, you know. But you know, you know what can you say about that? You know, but Green Aaron Rodgers came out strong, but you know it wasn't enough to pull it out. So, but you know, it goes to show you, I don't care what running back you got. It's not going to help the can the, you guys to beat the Chiefs. It's not going to happen. What the 49ers need to do, they need to 
Yeah, Jimmy Garoppolo to throw the ball. Throw the ball, throw the ball. I don't care if you have a great defense or not. You've got to throw the ball on the offensive side of the ball. I, hey, say what you want about the 49ers defense. Great, great defense. Nick Bolsa, defensive guy. Kyle Shanahan, great coach. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm not speaking of Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan and Mike Shanahan did something that no coach ever done before. Have a father and son reach the Super Bowl, which I don't think that's ever happened before, which I give congratulations to Kyle Shanahan for that. But what I'm saying is San Francisco needs to throw the ball to Jimmy Garoppolo. He needs to start throwing the ball. I don't care what you guys say. That Running the ball is not going to get it done when you beat the Chiefs. They're going to stop you no matter what. That defense, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a battle of the defense, I think. It may, I think it's going to go to a defense again for a little while in this one. But as far as I see it, it can't, if Patrick Mahomes is going to score a touchdown, forget about it. Forget about it. He might get a couple of here and there, but whoa. I don't care what defense it's got the ball. I, I got to say this. In all honesty, and I, I still think Tom Brady's the greatest ever in the go. He, the Patriots are my team. No doubt about that. The um, the most feared quarterback right now, Patrick Mahomes. I say that right now. He's the most feared quarterback right now. I said that to Tom Brady for a long time. I think Patrick Mahomes is going to take the cake of that. He has a gun for an arm. A gun. Kind of like a gun you see like Brett Favre. And it doesn't surprise me he has a gun like that because Patrick Mahomes' father used to was a relief pitcher for for baseball over the years. He pitched for my Boston Red Sox for a while. So I kind of get where he had the arm strength come from. So, anyways, with that, that being said, you cannot rely on the running game. you got to throw the ball to beat Kansas City. You're not going to win that way with running the ball. And if, you, and if that doesn't work out, you might as well pack it in. That's not going to work for Kansas City. And I, and it's good, and I hate to tell you this, Kansas City may have a shot at winning this game. So, if I'm not mistaken, I think Vegas spread is a one-and-a-half point spread on this game. And over and under is 53, so... Let me double check to make sure. I'm sorry, 54 and a half. I just looked it up right now. So anyways, and the Chiefs are one point favorite in this game. It's kind of, it's kind of a close game, but I, I expect to be a defensive battle at first. And all of a sudden, when Patrick Williams gets a touchdown, fire, fireworks are going to go up like that. No doubt about it. You know, that's going to happen, I think. You know, that's the way I look at it. That's the way I see it right now. For, out of all this, this is going to be one of the most toughest Super Bowls I have to pick, but I got to go with it. I have to go with it. But if you're going to put money on the money line, I don't know if you do. You should do that. But anyways, going into this um, game, I think this is will be a battle of the defenses in the beginning. You go the right strike, go straight down from there, and when Patrick Mahomes scores, that's going to be it. So anyways, I think it's going to be a close one. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say anything bad about the 49ers, but they they need to do something. They hadn't need to plan something big if they need to do that. They need to pull something out. What Kyle Sanian, he should learn what his dad did when he beat Green Bay in the Super Bowl in thirty two, I think it was, when he beat the Pat and then when he was with the Denver Broncos at the time. So anyways, he's gotta think of think of that mind. You know, and that's what I think about it. But, you know, it, during later the week it's gonna come to him and pick him. So no matter what happens, here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna take the Kansas City Chiefs to win. Over the green, the uh, San Francisco 49ers. That's my pick for Super Bowl 54. Like I said, on the line, the Chiefs are favored by one and a half in this game. Is go down to a pick 'em. Nope. But I'm gonna, if it comes down to a pick 'em, take the Chiefs anyway. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the Chiefs minus one or pick 'em. But if you're picking the 49ers and it's a pick 'em, go for the 49ers too. That's the way to say about that. But anyways, over and under is 54 and a half. Yeah, believe it or not, the way I mentioned we may go out, I'm going to go over 54 and a half because you never know. I think it might go right into that. So I think it's going to go into that range. I really think it's going to go like over 54 points. So other than that, you know, ugh, I'm going to, I have to go, I'm going to say that. My final score in this game, the Kansas City Chiefs, 35. The San Francisco 49ers, 27. You heard it here, folks. That's, I'll mention it again. I'm picking the Chiefs over the um, 49ers. Chiefs minus one, plus, you know, or pick them. Over and under 54 and a half. Over 54 and a half. The final score, 
the San Francisco, I mean, the 40, the Chiefs, 35, the 49ers, 27. Okay, shout out this week. Check out my good friend Justin's Bridgewater's Finest on YouTube. And he has Twitter, Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter. So he's linked down below. The reason why I give him a shout out because he has, he's on movie awards. If you're into the movies, things like that, go check his videos out with his friend. And it's a really good video. I like, I enjoyed it. So going on the fun with that. So I think he, I think he completed it if I'm not mistaken. So anyways, if you have a chance, then. Uh, and I check him out, and he may have a Super Bowl pick coming up down below, so I might put that in when it comes around. So, anyways, check out my good friend Judge Justin's Bridgewater's finest on YouTube and Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter. Hey, and if you're a tea drinker, check out his nerd teas too. His, his link will be down there below. So, hey, going on the fun with them with Justin's Bridgewater's finest on YouTube, and so then, then. Got some questions for y'all. I'm thinking about after the Super Bowl, I'm gonna do a do a post game show. I'm gonna give you my questions right now. I'm thinking about. I am a big hockey fanatic and a big NBA fanatic too myself. But if you want to see videos during the off season with that? Let me know down below. If you guys will tune in on it, I'll do it. But if you don't, I won't. But I'm definitely gonna. I'm definitely really thinking about an NHL video. So coming up during the off season, maybe a couple, maybe a month or so. See how I feel about it, but. I'm definitely going to do some playoff action, too, when they come comes to the playoffs. Same thing with the NBA, too. I'm definitely going to do that. So, until then, this is Andrew Warren, signing off. Peace.